I can't figure you people out. Honey Island Swamp has been closed for decades, and for good reason. But every now and then, some stupid son of a bitch thinks he knows better. I knew. Let me guess. You don't believe in ghosts. You think Victor Crowley is a legend. I went in there to find my family. My... My brother and my father. Kill them all. What the hell were they doing in there? Night fishing. My daddy was a gator hunter. He and my brother started pulling in twice their load once they started hunting away from everybody else. We needed the money after my mama passed away. Oh, God. Now I'm alone. Your daddy should have known better. Hell, every hunter from around here knows not to go in that damn swamp. I always tell them, I say, stay the hell out. Well, they all call me crazy. I think I'm sick in the head. Here, you drink this. It's nice and warm. First things first. We got to find out wherever it is you live and get you there. We got to get you a doctor. I think I should go to the police. The police? What, and fill out one of the missing reports? Like the hundreds of others filled out in this area. You'll never hear back from them. But I know where their bodies are. <laughs> right. Those big city cops will hightail it down here, and, and, and they'll find all that evidence before the wildlife eats it. What am I supposed to do? Never come back this way again. Hell, you're a lucky girl. You got out of there alive, and with all your pieces. <sighs> Look, miss, what, what's your name? Mary Beth. Mary Beth Dunstan? Holy Christ, you're Samson's kid. Yes. Get out! What? Get out of my house right now! Get out now! You knew my daddy? No. But I know what your daddy did, and I want nothing to do with it. I keep myself to myself, and that ghost leaves me be but I can't have nothing to do with you. Get out! But how am I supposed to get home? Out that door, it's Quadge Road. You take it a half a mile down, you're gonna find a gas station, you get a ride from there. But I can't have nothing to do with you. Get out! I, but I, I don't understand. You get out of my house, Mary Beth Dunstan. What's going on? You want answers? You go see Reverend Zombie. Miss, you get far, far away from here, or I swear to God, I will shoot you dead. I didn't do nothing. I didn't even know who that girl was. No! 
I need to talk to you about something. Come back some other time. I'm busy. When? Next month. No. I need to talk to you. Now. Everybody's dead. Last night in Honey Island Swamp. Honey Island Swamp. Were you on that tour? Yeah. You. How did you know? What happened? The boat driver was an idiot. He got us stuck. And Crowley massacred everybody. But I got away. Sean, the boat driver. Is he dead? You knew him? Sure. It worked for me. That was one of my boats. I don't understand. Sure. No one's been able to run tours out of this swamp for years. Not since I've had the shop. Ever. Not me. Not anybody. So I was forced to run tours out the back door of one of my other shops. Times are tough and money is money. You sound just like my daddy. Who's your father? Samson Dunstan. Samson Dunstan? Samson Dunstan's kid? Yes. Well, how is old Samson doing? He's dead. Crowley got him. And my brother, too. And then Jack Cracker freaked out on me. Practically shot me when he found out who I was. He said that you would be able to tell me what my daddy did. Samson Dunstan. Samson Dunstan's gone. Please. What do you know? Same thing that everybody else whispers about these backwoods, I suppose. Only I was around when it actually happened. When what happened? Long time ago. Before you were born, when I was just a boy, there was a man named Thomas Crowley. He lived out there in Honey Island Swamp with his wife, Cheyenne. They lived alone, no kids, just the two of them. Cheyenne was sick, some sort of stomach cancer eating her up slowly and gradually taking its time. Now, the way I always heard it, Cheyenne had a nurse named Lena, a beautiful Cajun woman who would come by to tend to her. And over the long months of Cheyenne's passing, Thomas and Lena got closer. Too close. But the moment was not so much a release as it was a nightmare. She put a curse on Thomas Qualley and his mistress, Lena. A curse. 
wish that would not only damn them, but the bastard child that was already growing in Nina's belly. No. <laughs> they say that on the day Victor Crowley was born, the swamp mourned, the trees wept, the wildlife became sickly and died. His presence was like a pestilence that turned the area into death. Legend would have you believe that Mr. Crowley kept his son hidden away to protect him. But what he was really hiding was his mistake, his infidelity, and his curse. Over the years, Thomas Crowley learned to love his monster of a son. With just the two of them being hidden away, he made his peace with God. And on that fateful Halloween night, Thomas tried to save his son by chopping through the door with a hatchet. And by accident, killed his only son. Get what's coming to you. You can't hide forever. You killed my son. You killed my son. <laughs> you killed my son. The children responsible hid behind their parents, denied everything, and left Thomas Crowley to live out the rest of his days in anguish. Years later, he finally passed, and the torture of this life was over. But Victor Crowley would become one of the most tragic and heartbreaking tales of Louisiana. A man trapped in the night, he was killed, still out there, wandering the swamp each night, trying to find his daddy. No one knows the body count, but for years after he died, fishermen... <laughs> Gator hunters... <laughs> and those who were just too foolish to heed the tales all disappeared in that swamp mutilated, murdered, massacred, and torn to pieces by the ghosts of Victor Crowley. What does it have to do with me? Your father, Samson, was one of the three kids who murdered Victor Crowley. <laughs> What a tragedy that has left Honey Island Swamp cursed with the ghost of Victor Crowley forever. I... I never... Of course. How could you know? How do you know that my dad was involved? Because... If I had been brave enough, I would have been out there too. I'm an old acquaintance of Samson. When Crowley came after us last night... You saw him? Yes. He looked at me. 
like he knew me. Perhaps he could sense who you really were. Perhaps it was all in your mind. Victor Crowley is what's known in the paranormal world. As a repeater, his tragic and untimely death has left him forced to relive that moment night after night, over and over. All he knows is fear and revenge towards anybody who steps foot in that swamp. You knew all this was real, yet you still sent a tour boat full of innocent people in there. For what? For what? For money? Sean, he wasn't supposed to get that close. He wasn't supposed to stop for nothing. Now I've had boats go into that swamp for months now, two months now, with no worries. Besides, you knew the legend. You went in there knowing the story, as did your father. I went who in... more than anybody should have known better. I went in there to find them. And I did. Now many people have seen the face of Victor Crawley and lived to tell about it. Consider yourself lucky. Lucky? My family is gone. I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> Take me back there. What? I can't leave him there. Please. Please. I just want to take them home. What you want is revenge. It's a bad idea, Mary Beth Dunstan. Bad idea. Please. Please. I just want to bury my family. <laughs> and if I could take that monster out with me, then all the better. You can't kill him. He'll just be reborn. He's forced to return to the state he was when he was killed. You can't kill a ghost. Maybe I can't. Maybe I can. But I am gonna bury that hatchet deep into his fucking face! Or would you rather I go to the police and tell them about your swamp tour business? Maybe tell them where to find the bodies of a boat full of tourists that you sent in there illegally, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yes? You want revenge on Victor Crowley? I want you to find it. So you'll take me back in there? But I have some conditions. We're not going in there alone. We need help. We need guns. And there's a few specific people that I'd feel safer having along. Fine. If you take me back in there tonight. You meet me here at 2 o'clock. I had some phone calls to make. I'm going to gather together a little hunting expedition of sorts. That ghost gone, I can clear that swamp. You know, I don't care about your swamp tour business. I don't care about your money. I just want to bring my family home. If you think that bringing... I said yes. But, you know, I think it'd be better if you didn't go in there alone. Do you have somebody you can bring? Boyfriend? Or an uncle, perhaps? I'm not bringing anybody else I know into this. Mm-mm. I feel better if you brought somebody, if you brought another family member with you. No. Then no deal. So if I bring my uncle back, then you will take us? That's what I said. I'll be back at two. I'll be here. Justin! 
Justin, get your butt down here. Yeah, boss? When were you going to tell me that your brother didn't bring the boat back? Oh, he didn't? Sean didn't bring the boat back last night. Look, he's just new at this. I'm sure everything's fine. He's probably got the boat back by now. That was your chef. He was covering for you. Okay? He didn't bring the boat back, and everything's not all right. Why? What's wrong? We gotta go out there and recover my boat. Sean's still in the swamp? Apparently. Is he all right? I'm sure he'll be all right. I need you to go out and organize a group of hunters and fishermen, people that know the way around the swamp. I got a proposition to make them. And you make sure that this name is on the list. We're going on a little expedition. Is this like a publicity thing for the shop? Something like that. Would you look at all the gators around here? It's like a fucking farm. I guess that's what Reverend Zombie's talking about. Look at all this. Nobody here to take it. Well, I ain't leaving here at the end, and that's for sure. What's your name? Ted. Cletus. Really? Yeah, I know. My parents were true rednecks. I got a brother named Cash. It's cooler than Cletus. No offense. None taken. But Chad, that's a, that's a real douchebag name. You know that, right? It's better than Skip. That's my little brother. Chad and Skip? God damn, you two must have had your asses handed to you in school. Yeah, we did. So how come we don't get to ride in the boat with them boys up there? I'll take my own boat wherever I go. What the hell for? In case I hook up. Who are you going to hook up with out here? Her. Fuck her. Biscuits and chicken and gravy and biscuits and chicken and gravy and the chickens with the biscuits on the gravy with the biscuits and the chicken wants a biscuit for the biscuit is me. So what's with the whole lynch mob? Safety in numbers. I know most of these folks think this whole story is a joke. But if something bad goes down, they'd rather be surrounded by the big guns, would you? Well, I thought you said you couldn't kill him. Uh, but if the legend is true, then there really is a ghost. Maybe not. I heard him last night. I shot him. I stabbed him. I burned him. He kept coming. But you hurt him. He went down every time. He felt pain. Then maybe the thing is to hurt him even worse. Hit him so hard, take his head off so he can't come back. What did you call him? A repeater? But doesn't that mean that he'd just come back again the next night? I don't have answers. Only theories. But I have to assume that uh, if we take off his head, then he can't come back at all. All these people are in danger, and they don't even realize it. Boss. Hey, 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 boss. Did Sean get off the board? I'm sure they're OK. That's why we're here. What you doing out here in this bullshit? Not looking for a date, I can tell you that much. Ooh, no disrespect. I'm just trying to be friendly. Sorry. I'm just having a really bad day. <laughs> what you need to do is turn that frown upside down. 
Oh, thanks, Vernon. Make out with me. What? On this boat? In front of all of these people? Yeah. Don't. <laughs> okay, man, okay. There's some freaks on his boat, man. What's up with that Blair Witch, man? I tapped that, but she probably got cobwebs sealing it up. And even if I did hit that, a bunch of bats probably come flying out of it. Voodoo. Magic. Just keep your eyes open. Open. It's gonna be a long day. Dead in here. Where we're going, it gets much thicker. It's almost nightfall. Let's move! to the house. What house? I'm not exactly sure. This all looks the same to me. We didn't walk far. I'm just not exactly sure where we got off. Why'd you guys get off the boat? Well, I don't want to linger. Let's get to the house. What house? My daddy and my brother are in the shed. Why were they in the shed? What house? It's scary out here. Oh, that's just because people want you to think it's scary. It's no different than any other swamp. Have you noticed that there's hardly even any birds? Doesn't matter. But... Don't let that clown spook you. All we gotta do, hang out here for a few hours, collect our money, and go home. Screw that. I'm taking out that Crowley monster guy. 5,000 bucks, I could be out of debt. <laughs> now, all these guys, you'll get them. I'm a better shot than you. It's not true. Okay, Garden District Fair two years ago. I was drunk and uh, let you win. Right, kinda like how you let me win at air hockey and at pool. I was sick. You're adorable. Fucking mosquitoes! Hey, man, I got some spray if you want. Yeah. So, thanks. You believe the whole ghost story about this place? I believe there was a story, but I don't believe there's a ghost that can actually hurt somebody. Right. Look, I've been thinking. If a ghost can take on physical presence and manifest itself, then what's to stop it from going after somebody? Damn, man, you need to stop watching the sci-fi channel. If that ghost does manifest his ass, I'll shoot his head off. Hey, man, you want some bucks, Chris? Man, he don't talk a lot, huh? Yeah, who John? No, man, he's a riot. Used to do stand-up down at Fezziwig, man. Real hilarious. Seriously? No. Hey, man, careful them cigarettes. They'll kill you, you know. Shut up, Chad. Where the hell are we going? I don't know. Okay, we came in a different way. Just how much further in do you expect us to go, little girl? Yeah, I'd like to stay closer to the boats. All right, we came in through there, so the boats are straight shot back. So what now? It's around the area. If Victor Crowley really does exist, this is where we find him. So is this some kind of Victor Crowley call or something? <laughs> <laughs> So what, we break up in the groups? No, that's a bad idea. No, no, he's right. That way we can cover more ground. All right, now if you see that monster out there, shoot. Now wait just a damn minute. You don't want a bunch of spook people walking around this swamp shooting at everything. Who you calling spook? 
I'm going with the big guy. The fuck you are, boy. I'm fixing to keep an eye on my money. Come on, let's find that shed and get out of here. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's the plan? Plan? We meet back at the boat at sunup. And if you do find that monster, bring back his head. 5K. Trent, you come with us. want to do stick with these guys tonight wait here till tomorrow and get out of here <laughs> all right son is down to eddie i don't want to hang out with these idiots all night all right come on oh, well hey man what you gonna take the only pretty thing in the swamp with you yeah man we're cool thanks <laughs> oh okay i get it Y'all a couple or something, huh? My bad. <laughs> hey, man, I got an idea. Why don't we all just split up? <laughs> hey, better yet, let's just go skinny dipping. <laughs> hey, I don't know about you. I'm gonna go catch me a gator, hang out down by the boats. Well, I like the idea of sticking near them boats. I don't want nobody leaving with them. <laughs> Stick with me, pal. Make it worth our while. And then it was just us. You scared, man? Boom! <laughs> Ow! Damn it! Swamp overflowing with gators, and I can't hit one. You gotta lead it more. Dude, I know how to hunt. <laughs> yeah, that's why you keep missing. Mm. So, uh, are you supposed to stand around here all night? Unless you wanna go sniffing around in there with them assholes. No, no. I'm good here, but, man, 5,000 bucks. To hunt down a children's story? Good luck. And the only reason zombies even offering that reward, because there ain't no Victor Crowley. I mean, we're gonna end up staying up all night just so we can go back and declare the swamp safe and appeal to start up his tours or some bullshit. How do you know that story ain't real? Please. That story was real. I mean, if I even thought that story was real, my ass wouldn't be there right now. All right. See how he's moving to the right? Shut up. Two feet to the right. Shut up. Yeah! Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! You see that? Wait, shut up. Did you hear something? Yeah! I heard that gator decide to come home with me. That's no. a liar. Shh. Woo! Listen. Oh, come on. All right, we hear you, Vernon. It's funny. That was Vernon? Of course it was. I see him. Shut the fuck up. He's right in front of us. Vernon, cut it out or you're going to get hurt. Yeah. I'm serious. Knock it off right now, or you're gonna get shot. I'm serious now.
Yes, hold on. What are we really doing here? We're going to go through there, get the people that were on that boat, and we're going to bring them back home. Come on. I'm not an idiot, okay? Why do you need all these people? Why all the guns? All right. Listen to me, Justin. Listen to me. If what the girl is saying is correct, and Victor Crowley is still out there, I know how to get rid of him. I know how to end the curse. And how's that? You see those two right there? Yeah. They were out here the night Crowley got murdered. Oh, the night the house got lit on fire? Yes. There were three of them. Samson, the girl's father, was the other one. So that means there's only two more to go before his revenge is satisfied and the curse will be lifted and the swamp is mine. Wait, that's... That's like murder. Am I hurting anybody? Did I twist anybody's arm to come out here? They came here on their own free will. Because you bribed them. You got a problem with this, Justin? Do you have a problem with me? I just... No. Look, I just want to find Sean and get the hell out of here. Is Sean all right? I don't know. But you wouldn't tell me the truth if you did know, would you? Look at me. The girl doesn't know what happened to Sean either. The group got split up. But I'm sure he's out there somewhere. He'll be fine. Trust me. And we all have to stick together. Everything's going to be fine. He's a tough kid. He ain't that tough. <laughs> Maybe you were just scared. No, I know what I saw. I saw them with my own eyes. Carly, maybe, maybe he took them inside the house. Mary Beth! Hey, Jose, I'm quite scared. Brave little gal. Hey, you just can't run up there. I'll let him go. <laughs> Boss, if you don't mind, I'd really like to just find my brother and get the fuck out of here. It's safe if we stick together. Sean! Sean! Son, I'm gonna give you about one more second to knock that shit off. Right now. Please, please, Uncle Bob, you have to believe me. Well, then we'll come back tomorrow during the day. We'll bring the sheriff with us. Boss. Sheriff, is it gonna be? I really want to get out of here. Now! 
got here. Please, I'm fucking scared. Then get back to the boat. Can I get the keys back? Don't leave me here. And I won't leave. I'll wait. The hell you will. I'm with your boy. We're looking for serious trouble being in here. It's too late. Shut the door! Shut the fucking door! Come on, Frank, give me a hand. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, man. Come on, boy, come on. What the hell have you done? Back off of me, old man. You're gonna get us all killed. You? You're blaming me. What? What are you talking about? Y'all better shut the fuck up! Hey, man, you hear that? Hey, somebody joking around out there. This shit ain't funny. We will shoot you. Show yourself, or we will shoot your head off. Shots fired. No, you think got him? No, 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 stay with me. No, I can't. I can't, I can't, can't be in here. All right, I need to get back to the boat. I just want to find Sean and go home. Sean? Is, is he dead? They're all dead. And you lied? I told him the truth. You knew my brother was dead. <laughs> Quiet, kid. All right. All I know is what that crazy gal said. For all I know, he could still be out there somewhere. He's not. Now, what if you shot one of the other guys, man? Hello! I find it hard to believe that this door is the only way in. I'll scope it out. Now you listen to me. I want you to hide. I'm not hiding. That's enough. Now you hide! Come on. Come on. Your brother. You 
could have told me earlier. I thought Zombie would have told you. Are you positive? Are you sure he's dead? Why the hell would you come back here? I don't understand. My family is gone. I have nothing. I want to see Crowley die. But if he's a ghost, I... I hurt him last night. If he can feel pain, then he can die. What did he say to you? I heard him say something about those two. He seems to think that Trent and that guy with you, your, your, your uncle. Bob? He says that they were with your father when they killed Victor Crowley years ago. What? He thinks that Victor Crowley has his revenge on them, that the curse will be lifted and he'll just go away and it will be safe. That's why he brought us here? I don't know shit. All I know is... Uncle Bob! <laughs>
tried to save you. No, you're gonna kill him! No. Oh. <laughs> Kitten. 